Well, a very good afternoon from Phuket and today we're going to be taking a look at a pool villa. Now this is very much a generic villa that you will find across the whole island. This particular one has been rented by some friends of mine who are very kindly allowing me to video it so it's going to give you an idea of what you can expect if you're going to rent a pool villa here on the island of Phuket. Of course there will be slight differences depending on who you rent the villa from size wise but base, the basic layout will be pretty much the same so the company they've chose to use is called two villa holidays which is just behind me they're actually just taking some suitcases and stuff into the villa now as us as we speak now this is a complex of villas so they have different size villas the villa that we're going to be looking at has a pool and it's 5,000 baht a night and it was booked through Agoda obviously those prices will change from season to season but this will give you a good idea of what you can expect so to give you an idea where this villa is situated we're right on the edge of Rawai and Naham so not a bad little area because of course most people that know Phuket will be familiar with Naham beach of course one of the better beaches on the island of Phuket and of course you have Rawai town as well which is quite a large expat community so the villa is situated on this private estate they have security on here plenty of parking for your car and motorbike I've chosen to come out there's Nat so obviously she's waving me on now uh, to come out and start the video outside just to give you an idea of what you can expect in these sort of villa complexes so we're going to make our way up to the villa how many bedrooms is it Nat okay she's not sure but she thinks it's two bedroomed pool villa so that'll be quite nice as I say 5,000 roughly around 5,000 baht yeah of course I've already mentioned the fact that prices will vary depending on the time of year of course we're in September at the moment now the weather has been absolutely lovely the last few days we've had blue skies and sunshine very little rain but today it's very overcast and we are having some very light showers but again Phuket is getting off very lightly compared to other parts of Thailand at the moment because Thailand is seeing a lot of heavy rain especially in Bangkok they've got some very very bad flooding in areas of Bangkok so Phuket is getting away quite lightly we have had some slight flooding but not too much so we're just we're making our way up to the the villa this is the grounds I haven't yet seen the villa I haven't had a quick sneak in. My friends are having a party later. Um, that's going to bring some stuff. Plenty of booze by the looks of you. And uh, stuff that they're taking in. We are invited to the party. But we've got to go and pick Ply up a little bit later on. So this is the entrance to the villa. I presume there's all villas around here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pop my shoes off. Okay. So... This villa is 136 stroke 97 and I can see there's a villa behind as well. So let's have a look. So I guess this is what you'd call the kitchen area. Nice large fridge there. Very nice. Okay, nothing in it of course. But ideally if you've got a family and you want some self-catering accommodation then these villas are going to be ideal because of course you have got a kitchen. There's a hob there, there's a fridge, there's a microwave. So you're going to be able to cook some food. I can see there is a bedroom off to the one side. I'm guessing there's a toilet as well here. So let me just, no, that door's locked. Okay, I don't know what's in there. Maybe it's, ah, uh, okay, it's probably, no, it's the ensuite for this bedroom. So we have bedroom number one. As I've mentioned, it does have an ensuite. So let's have a quick look in here. Your standard WC, mirror, toilet. And a reasonably large shower there. Not bad. Looks very nice. I must admit, very nice indeed. Nice condition. So I don't know how new these villas are. As I say, this is just some friends of mine who have picked one off a Goda. Nice large wardrobe. I don't know if there's a safe. There normally is. Yes, there is. Look, there you go. Safe in the wardrobe and a little light that comes on as well when you open the doors. Some... Uh, bathrobes as well ceiling fan I would imagine yes air conditioning now 
I haven't asked, but I would imagine the villa has also got Wi-Fi. Normally these sort of places do have Wi-Fi. Shouldn't be an issue, but a nice size bedroom there. Very nice. Just make my way around. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's make our way further into the villa and see what else it has. So we've got a reasonable size dining area. Uh, the, the boxes of Chang, yeah, okay, three boxes of Chang there. Uh, nice size dining table to sit at if you can do a meal. Um, TV that I can see. Obviously you can see outside, I don't want to go straight outside yet. Um, just show you the other angle. Um, they've got a TV in here as I've mentioned. There's an air conditioning unit on the wall. Ah, okay, so they've got a central air conditioning system in the lounge area and controls on the wall. Go on then, Nat, open the bedroom. So this, I'm guessing this is the main, the main bedroom um, because obviously it's a little bit more grander and it overlooks the pool. Fantastic view, lovely. Waking up and looking out there in the morning. I can just see myself doing that. As I mentioned, air conditioning up there on the wall. We have a ceiling fan. Nice, nice bedroom. Not massive, but nice. It's a nice, comfortable size. There is no TV in here. You do have large wardrobes, plenty of storage by the looks of it. I can see these are massive wardrobes. And again, I would imagine there'll be a separate safe somewhere in one of these wardrobes. Um, let me just have a quick, not in there, those drawers. There might be one there. I don't know whether there's just one safe. Oh no, there you go. There's another safe there. So two separate safes in the accommodation. And we're going to have a quick look into the ensuite as well so we've got a nice bath in this one so a little bit more luxurious we have a WC sink and wash basin mirror and a separate shower cubicle very very nice really nice and there is the shower very very nice as I say they've just booked this on Agoda so it is something that's available let's make our way now outside and take a look at this beautiful pool I'm not going to open these doors I just show it through there and then make my way through the main lounge area but very nice very very nice and they've booked this out for a few days so they're going to have some <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've not been very well the last few days, so my voice doesn't sound right. That's why I'm not 100%. Nat there with the, the life saving ring. I don't know what you're going to do with that. Oh, he's come off the wall, has he? Uh, yeah, okay. So you've got an emergency life saving ring there, should you require it. Nice pool, very, very nice. Reasonable size. I don't know how deep it is. I've not got my swimming trunks on, not yet. As I say, we have been invited over later, but whether we will come, I don't know, because we've got to pick up Ploy. But very, very nice indeed. Very impressed. I'm just going to have a look down here to see whether they've got no shower outside. They haven't. I'm guessing that room houses all the motors and uh, filtration system for the swimming pool, but very nice. Very nice indeed. You can see the gardens. So this is the sort of accommodation that you can expect if you book on agoda.com, you're looking for fillers and you're paying around the 5,000 mark. Obviously, in high season, these may become more expensive and I'm sure they will. So that really covers the villa. I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to come over and show you a little bit of a different accommodation that's available here in Phuket. Something that you can go and book online, have a look yourselves. But this villa is pretty typical of many villas that you will find across the island in all different areas. Now I have got a lot of activity coming up on my channel. I've got a lot of uh, hotels that I'm going to be filming over the next few months. Some beaches. I'm also going to be doing the Andaman Water Park which I'm going to be doing next month. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe then thank you in advance. Well I guess that just leaves me to say as always always thanks for watching and until next time you take care and I will catch you on the next one